Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Uh, first five cards deal with your love life, and the second five cards deal more with your general energy. And based on the way this spread is laid out, it seems like it should be the other way around. But um, I'll go into the explanation in just a little bit regarding um, the energy that I'm feeling here. Um, first of all, let's talk about your love life here. We have the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is uh, usually internet-based types of dating. The fantasy, wondering what could be, and kind of imagining and fantasizing about what it would feel like to date a specific person, okay? And so, the Seven of Cups energy, it's very romantic, it's very ethereal, it's very like... Uh, contemplative and it's very speculative so I feel like many of you are at a point where you're either on social media on dating websites on Instagram looking at pictures looking at people that you find to be very attractive and wondering about you know connections and trying to make connections and trying to reach out to them we have as well the death card and the death card is a card about growing up it's about kind of like a maturation or a change in your energetic life vibration so you're no longer at a point where you're fantasizing I, I feel like you're reaching out you're trying to make things a reality and there is heavy communication between you and another person based on this spread I feel like very strong Scorpio energy and for some reason uh, Scorpio and Aries people are really magnetically drawn to each other and I feel a lot of it has to do with uh, your no BS approach to life and the both of you are very generally very very truthful and honest about you know your intentions and about what you want and so if you're dealing with a Scorpio um, the energy is no longer like um, it's not just about texting or fantasizing about the other person. It's about making things a reality and moving forward and meeting up and, you know, overcoming this, um, either the, the geographical distance between you and them in order to make the re relationship come together. For others of you, there might be communication as well from a, um, Libra. So I have here the, here the justice card, which is indicative of the Libra energy. Um, Libra is your polar opposite, okay? Libras, a lot of the times, opposites attract because we recognize in the other person some things that we are lacking in ourselves. Libras are known to be very diplomatic. They weigh out the pros and cons of a situation. Um, they take their sweet time, they drag their feet, and they're not as impulsive as you guys are. But at the same time, they lack the conviction to really stand up and go for what they really want. So there is a uh, an issue when it comes to timing here with the Libra. Uh, what, when you're feeling amorous, they might feel busy. You know, they're, they're like, no, I, I don't really have time to go on dates or I don't really have time. I can't see you tonight basically okay if you want me to spell that out for you and then with the Scorpio energy it's more like they're a lot more accommodating and it seems as if they're the the energy is very strong the chemistry the, the attraction is really strong here with the Scorpio where even despite their busy schedule they will still make the time to come see you so I feel like the level of de devotion you have a lot more coming from the Scorpio rather than the Libra person um, the Libra person might also have other options that they're looking at so this is a card here about you know um, giving their energy time and resources and love and affection possibly to two people you could be the one doing this choosing between the scorpio and the libra or the libran person can be the one doing this where they are devoting their time between you and another person this is a card about child support and alimony as well so i feel as if some of you might be in a situation where uh, you're dealing with somebody who has another family um, they still have responsibilities as a parent and they might not have the time for you so they, like on the weekend they might be with their kids and you're calling them to go out and they're telling you you know I have the kids that might put a little bit of a damper on your relationship but I feel like you know they're they're truthful about that and then for others I also feel like um, getting out of a relationship and still having like uh, lingering attachments so you might be separated and you're trying to date and that's always you know transitions are usually a little bit awkward but you're 
you're gonna have to be very truthful and honest. And I feel like the person will get it, okay? And especially if you're dealing with Scorpio energy, they will get it. They understand. They understand that you know things happen, and they also understand as well that you might be handling things and you might be taking care of things that they're that. And you might not be ready just yet for that commitment, or you are ready for the commitment, but they feel like you need to take care of these things first because these things are important. So they're looking at you as if let's just you know date each other lightly and go from there. So I feel like many of you, lots of options, lots of dating, lots of communication, as well as um, multiple options that you're kind of uh, choosing between. You have some really good options. The Six of Pentacles is usually a very good card. It means doing things the right way so that good karma comes back to you. So I feel like many of you are on the up and up. Many of you are open and honest with your relationship partners. I don't see issues coming in here. Okay. Um, the second portion of your reading here. This deals heavily with um, other areas of your life. Whatever is coming out. Okay. So once again, the lovers card and the magician. Um, this deals with trying to manifest the right people and the right things and the right jobs in your life. However, the energy is heavily laced with uh, relationships as well. So I feel almost like the the card should have been switched. But what I do feel overall, and let me talk about your energy first because then you know it'll, it'll uh, be easier to explain. This is your energy here, uh, Queen of Wands. You can be male watching this. It doesn't really matter because the cards in a general reading, they're not gender specific. Okay, so this is you um, having worked your way up. Okay, so I feel like many of you have worked really hard. You're seen as somebody that is able to get things done. You're seen as somebody who is um, kind of like who's a self-starter, who takes initiative, who gets work done, who other people can rely on. You also synthesize um, knowledge really well. So it's not just about doing what you're told, taking orders. You're able to show a lot of good leadership capabilities. You're very intelligent, and you're almost like I'm seeing somebody that are um, some air. Aries people that are watching this that are really really young, but that are very successful in their field, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that you take initiative, you put your name out there, you help other people around you, and so your supervisors, your manager, people in your work environment know that you're very capable and you don't shy away from hard work. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. You get things done, and you can juggle multiple responsibilities. Without breaking a sweat, so I feel like many of you are very young, but incredibly successful in your field. Okay, and、um, I'm seeing here with the magician. This is a big card about going to school, learning, getting the degrees, getting the diploma, and I would never dissuade somebody from going to school. I would never, you know, if anything, I feel like education is one of the best investments that you can do for yourself. So many of you are at a major crossroads right now in your career. If you want to advance the, if you want to advance in your career with the the lovers, this is like crossroads choices. I feel like for many of you, you've worked your way up, right? Without needing that diploma, without needing that career, and you've、uh, made it, and you're at a point where you're very happy.、Um, financially, things are really good for you, and you're managing possibly other people. You're very、um, solid where you are. But in order for you to advance, you might have to go back to school. You might have to get that. Diploma. You might have to get that certificate, whatever it is, because it gives you credibility. Not that you're not credible with your energy, but the way society is structured, you might need that diploma in order to gain visibility and credibility, in order to see, be seen as somebody that you know can be in charge. So I feel like the obstacle to you in a supervisory position or a managerial position or even a higher position might be. The education that you have under your belt. So if that's that's something you're contemplating and you're looking at it. So I feel like you know, okay, you know this is something that you need to do. You've been dragging your feet, and 
you've been kind of impatient about it, but I feel like the time is now for you to really look at that and to give give it, you know, some、uh, give it like serious thought because I feel like your career breakthrough is going to be tremendously high. I also see a situation where your education might even be subsidized.、Um, Because of where you work, they might give you、uh, tuition reimbursement. They might subsidize your education, so that you don't need to pay an arm and a leg for tuition. So really talk to human resources, look at、um, into tuition reimbursement and see. Because I feel like it's calling out to you. It's calling your name, or it's got your name on it. So if you go for it, you're gonna be.、Um, You're gonna receive financial assistance in the work environment. Okay, so that's just something to think about.、Uh, likewise, the first two cards here we have the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords with the Lovers.、Um, I feel like there's somebody, there's a, a sneaky behavior in your work environment, and there are people that you know they 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 don't really deliver. They they don't really work to their capacity. Calling out sick when they're hungover, for example, you know it's a matter of personal responsibility, right? Like, you know, it's a Sunday night, you have work on Monday, so you probably shouldn't be out drinking. But I feel like there's somebody here in in the environment where they're a little bit、um, flaky, and they call in sick, and you, as the supervisor or the person who's in charge of scheduling, you know that they're not technically sick. So, do you give Up this information to your supervisor, or do you just help them, like cover for them? You have a very strong sense of loyalties to friends as well. A lot of fire signs do,、um, but I also feel like you have a, a, a very low tolerance for BS. You have a very low tolerance for BS. So if this the case, don't create this pattern of dependency where the other person asks you to cover for them. For bigger and bigger and bigger lies, okay. Just、uh, put an end to it, put a stop to it, or just you know give them the cold shoulder and just be like, we can be friends outside of work, but when we're at work, don't ask me to lie for you. That's you know messed up, okay.、Um, so I feel like there's a lot of、um, the the energy in the work environment. It's just a lot of young people, a lot of irresponsible、um, antics that you have to contend with for this week. And I also feel like turning a blind eye. It's it's gonna be, or you know, giving them the cold shoulder. Not so much turning a blind eye. Excuse me, but turning away from it, so that you can be more in alignment with doing the right thing and taking care of your professional image, rather than associating with people who might be like this. Okay, so you have some major decisions to make when it comes to friends and coworkers. Do I want to be seen as somebody who's righteous and you know does things by the book, or do I want to be dragged into this situation where people are、uh, being inappropriate at work, or friends are kind of conniving, backstabbing, and lying to each other? So really re-examine your friendships and your relationships for this、um, this week. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that.、Um, I just feel like there's a lot of communication. Between you and another person, long distance, and I feel like there's a sen- big sense of reciprocity, big sense of friendship, big sense of potential. So aim for people that are more in alignment with your own truth and your own values. All right.、Um, I hope the reading is helpful, Aries, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.